Hey, what's up guys? It's Brian here, Brian's Law Maintenance. Hope you guys are doing well. Hey, today I wanted to talk to you guys for just a few minutes about credit cards on file and why I think they are one of the best ways to go with managing your business, managing your cash flow, and getting paid for the work that you've already done. Let's check it out. All right, so if you guys are new here, our channel is all about helping you guys grow a more successful lawn and landscaping business so you guys can go out there and crush it. We do that with product reviews, how-tos, daily vlogs, and sometimes we talk about our back-end office work and management about how we run our lawn and landscaping business. Now, if you guys are new here, you don't have to subscribe and do 500 different things. Just sit back, relax, and enjoy the content. If you guys are part of the regular crew, hey, big thumbs up. Super appreciate the continued support. All right, let's jump into it. What I wanted to talk to you guys about for a couple quick minutes is how to add a credit card on file or more specifically how to walk through a customer with helping them add a credit card on file for your lawn and landscaping business now a lot of you guys know that we use yardbook to support our lawn and landscaping business and they're also proud partners of our brian's law maintenance youtube channel so by the end of this make sure you guys go to yardbook.com check them out this isn't sponsored or anything like that but it's just a quick timely video that i thought could help a lot of you guys with getting control of your cash flow as we go into the upcoming season so let's go into adding a credit card on file it's extremely easy to do i'm going to do a little screen grab here. The first thing we're going to do is go to yardbook.com. So once we're logged in, the first thing you're going to see is that beautiful landing page. And that landing page is where you're going to get the most up-to-date details on your business, including, you know, your accounts receivable, your accounts payable, the invoices that you have out, the invoices that are past due, uh, something that we always want to keep on top of. And by the way, by the time we're done with this video, hopefully not to have many of those left out. So the first thing we want to do is go to our customers and we're going to add a new customer profile. We already have here uh, a new customer named Isaiah Franklin. Now Isaiah is a made up customer, but he's going to be our guinea pig for the rest of this example. Now I'm not going to go into a huge lengthy rant here about why you should add credit cards on file to your lawn and landscaping business, business model, especially for your residential clients. Whole nother conversation for a whole nother time. Actually, we did that whole conversation on episode 159 of the Fullerton Unfiltered podcast, one of our podcast episodes, absolutely a banger episode. I'll leave that link in the description. On that episode, we talked about the who, what, when, where, why, and how about why you should do credit cards on file. Absolutely changed my business. We got a control of our accounts receivable, our cash flow, everything went up, including my wife's attitude, right? Because when we started having more cash flow and more money in the bank, everything got simpler and everything got easier. Once you have the Stripe integration set up with your Yardbook profile, you're gonna see that gray tab there in the middle for adding credit cards on file. Now there's two ways to add a credit card on file. Number one, you can do the send card on file link, or number two, you can populate that credit card in the customer's profile. Me personally, I didn't wanna take down 100 people's credit card info, so I opted to use the send card on file link. And what we simply do is we click the box to be able to send the credit card on file link. Once that's done, you click the green box and you're gonna come up with a small screen that is going to talk to you about the language that gets sent with the email. Now, for those of you guys that want a screen grab or screenshot, just relax. I got this here for a free download for you guys at launchpreneuracademy.com. More on that here in a quick second, but let's just follow along. Again, we can scroll through here and have this info for you guys at the end. You can always modify your template here, but all this credit card on file language is just explaining to the customer how we bill for the end of the month. Once we're done with all of this, we're going to click next, and that's going to send an email to that customer to populate that credit card on file. As you guys would imagine, they're going to click the orange link and they're going to populate their credit card on file. Again, we've talked about this on many videos before. When we sign up a new customer, we always have them text us their full name, full address, and email, and then we're going to tell them we're going to populate their credit card on file. No card on file, no service gets done. I don't care if it's a walk up, I don't care if it's a one time cut for 40 bucks. No card on file means we don't mow. As we go back into the customer's profile, whether you're doing a one time cleanup or you guys are doing a a monthly mowing account and you're going to invoice for the mowing for that month all you have to do is add from the product services catalog that's available through yardbook or 
add your own custom catalog parts there. And what we have here simply is weekly lawn maintenance. Now, a quick little pro tip here. If you guys do a line item for mowing, don't just put mowing $35 quantity for make it sound a little bit better weekly lawn maintenance or property maintenance right for me personally that's just something to make it a little plus one and to make it feel a little bit more impressive than just lawn cut once yardbook populates that into the invoice it's going to drop down as a line item and you'll see there it says weekly lawn maintenance let's do quantity four let's say it's a 45 dollar weekly cut and you're going to see that the total there is 180 dollars for the month so we've got two options here number one send a customer email or number two credit card on file Again, hopefully none of us are printing off our invoices, but if that's the case, that's fine too. Maybe you'll do that for your commercial clients. As you guys can see for the residential client, we've got the invoice number, the name, the date, and how much it is. And then we're gonna use the little green tab here that is charge card on file. Now clicking this isn't going to charge. The second screen is going to be the one where you finally punch it through and submit. So this screen right here is what I call cashing out. So basically when we do four cuts in a month, let's say it's a $40 weekly cut, four eight twelve sixteen so it's 160 dollars a month this is what we do to cash out with our cards on file at the end of the month now one last thing i wanted to reiterate if you guys wanted the yard book credit card on file language that we use for our custom template that we send to our customers all you have to do is scroll all the way down to the bottom of launchpreneuracademy.com you're going to see the resources that we have available for free. One is that lawn agreement form that's extremely popular in the spring. And then number two is the streamline your billing system, credit card on file language. All you do is punch in your name, your email, hit submit, and that's gonna go right to your email. Of course, guys, I don't wanna beat a dead horse on this topic, but I've had so many of you guys request an actual screen grab or a screen record about how to add a credit card on file, what the customer is gonna see, how do you actually create an invoice, how do you charge the card on file. Again, here's the bottom line and I've said this many times on many different podcasts about three or four years ago I was a professional debt collector we never had our cash we never had control of our cash flow we never had money padding the account or padding the bank and things were just it's crazy things were frustrating we, we were scared half the time because we didn't know if we would make payroll let alone rent and things were all over the place here's the long story short imagine you have a hundred customers and it's twenty thirty thousand dollars a month in lawn maintenance cash flow how would you like at the end of the month to charge cart on file your one two three hundred customers and just be done with it now i know if you charge twenty five thousand dollars credit card on file you're going to get twenty four thousand five hundred dollars because of the credit card fees i get it it's a part of doing business it's the cost of doing business but here's my my juxtaposition here's my value proposition here's my hey let's just be real would you like to have 24,500 of your 25 grand? Or do you want to do the old fashioned invoice, wait for people to pay you and only get six grand one week, six grand the next week, five grand the next week, and then always have five, $10,000 owed to you. That seemed to be my life story. Now, all things being said, this is for our residential clients. Commercial, we still do our standard invoicing and net 30 payments. This is for residential. Another question I get really quick as we button this up, do I charge the credit card on file convenience fee? For me personally, I don't, just because I don't give our customers any other way to pay other than a 5% seasonal discount if they prepay at the beginning of the season. Just a quick little pro tip. If you're worried about the credit card processing fees, bake it into your cost of doing business. Raise your price by a dollar or two to help offset the cost of those credit card fees. Just so you guys know, when you go to Walmart, you go to Target and you go to Best Buy and you don't think you're paying credit card fees, those are already baked into the price of that consumer good. So everybody's doing it. Here's the last thing I'll say. Get control of your cash flow. Don't extend as much credit as some of you guys have been doing. Some of you guys are chasing down money two, three, four, five months later, and I know how it goes because I was there for a long time. It gets extremely frustrating. If you guys are just getting started in business or you've been around the block for a few years, adopt a credit card on file system this year. If you got questions, please leave them down in the comments down below. I'll do my best to answer them. All right, guys, well, that's it, short and sweet. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. We look forward to catching up with you guys here on the next one.